So if you're watching this video, I assume that you already have Minecraft Java Edition and Java installed. If not, uh, the links to those will be in the description. But if you do, then you're just going to click the first link in the description. I'll have it pasted like four or five times, just so that way it's clear which, uh, which link it is that you need to go to. And it will bring you to the Vivecraft downloads page. So as far as I know, any Steam VR compatible headset will work with this. Before you install this though, you're going to make sure you've launched Minecraft in the version that you um, want to play VR in and make sure that it is a version that exists here. I'm going to be using 1.16.5, so I'm going to go ahead and launch the game in this version. And then you can just exit out. So then you're going to look for the version that you want and make sure it says VR client and then click on the uh, link here and it will bring you to this page where you can pick any version you want. Um, I'm going to be using 1.16.5, but this uh, process should be the exact same for any future or prior versions. So you're going to want to install not the non-VR installer, you're just going to want the normal installer and it should download down here you're going to click on that it may or may not say this for you for me it does i'm just going to click more info and run it anyway because it is safe and here you can choose to install with forge if you want to uh, i'm not going to be doing that you can also add a mod pack directory or uh, come up with a custom profile name but i'm just going to leave it all as it is and install it make sure that the minecraft launcher is not open and click ok and boom it should be done just like that. So now when you launch the Minecraft launcher, you will see that you now have a profile called Vivecraft or whatever you put as the custom name. So you just wanna click play and it will launch uh, Steam VR as well as the game. So here I am, I can interact with anything here using my controllers, just go to single player and can create a new survival world, just like that. And here we go, so now I'm inside of Minecraft VR. So what I like to do is make sure that you have Steam launched and then go ahead and pause, go into your, uh, Steam VR settings, and then go to controllers and manage controller bindings. And then right here, you're going to want to click custom and choose another. Go to Vivecraft, and you can choose from any of these community made bindings because you can't actually change your controls within the game. Uh, if you want to do your own, you can go back here and edit the binding. And here you can change any settings you want uh, to your liking. So, yeah, thanks for watching. If this was helpful, you know, like, subscribe, press all those fun buttons, and uh, I'll see you later.